found again another one. This is the elevator at the Heath and Learning Family Learning Commons at BC3. Check this out. There's also another new or newer Otis series too, and it also is Hydro Fit. Fortunately, just replaced an old vintage, I don't know, Burrington Dover elevator from 1974, which used to be over there, I believe. But I think the thing kept on breaking down and it wasn't big enough to uh, come by wheelchairs. <laughs> so cool. So yeah, here's your fixtures. It's indeed a hydro fit. I'll actually show you why it's a hydro fit. Watch and listen. This door here. That. Yep. Got ourselves an MRL hydraulic elevator, a true one. So yeah. I don't know why they have the indicator down here, even though this is no longer the main floor. Uh -oh. This thermostat. Is that like EDM or something like that? Or uh -oh. electroluminescent LCD. Pretty interesting looking thermostat. Let's go back up. Blue LED. By the way, I want to highlight something when I'm done recording this elevator about this place. It was originally opened up in 1974 as a library. I think it became the John A. Beck Library in 1988, I believe. Not Glenn Beck, okay? <laughs> John Beck. Although I wonder if he's related, though. Never mind. Yeah, I want to show you something really cool when we get off the elevator. So yeah, here's the cab. Kind of stainless steel, but kind of nice looking. Check this out. This place never originally had an atrium in it, let alone a two-story one. So, check this out. That's cool. Yep. We got little seating areas here, there, there, there. I think the most popular seats in the place are these bean bags or futons, whatever. So yeah, we got there's an open house going on today. That chair right there behind those people, that's actually original to the building from 1974. It actually used to be right where I'm standing at now when they actually had a floor still around here. This is all new. It was probably redone in the past year. Love sack. Sponsor me. So anyway. I don't know. Maybe I can give a little tour of this place. I would say this and the Science Technology Building are two of my most favorite buildings on the campus. I don't know which one I like better. WMG, WFG, blah, blah, blah. Do not want to get a copyright claim because there's music blaring on the TV there. Okay, WMG, WMG, WMG. So, yeah, this is the uh, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, this is a little cafe they have up here. I think it's only open till for, like, graphics or lunch. I don't know what the schedule is for this place. Called Logan's Cafe. Not mistaken with Wolverine Logan, whatever. Really cool looking. 
So who sings this? Uh, Demi Lovato. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we got ourselves. So yeah. And so that is, uh, you know what, why not, why not give a tour of the place as well? I mean, this place is actually newly remodeled. So the of the main level, right here. Okay, I got, so yeah. It used to be fully a library, but it's not really a library anymore. Well, technically, it still is. I think most of the library is downstairs, though, so I'm gonna be quiet. Yeah, why not give a little tour of it as well, also? Why not? Okay. Then I know the Series 7 is new or newer next gen Series 2. Yeah, this is what's pretty much left of the John A. Beck Library right here. Have they be quiet down here? Because it is a library down in this part. See? Believe it or not, these shelves and stacks and stuff were originally from the library when it first opened in 1974. <laughs> you can probably tell because of this color of the steel, but pretty much the frames on the sides, at least I'm pretty sure that transparent one, we're added on later. This might have been original. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, show these suspended lights. And yes, they are indeed LED. Really cool. So yeah, we're gonna walk around here. <laughs> Definitely an ultra modern library slash concept learning common center. And these, I don't know, these might be your conventional fluorescent overheads. I actually think they got LEDs in them now. <laughs> Funny, I thought they stopped making them like that style like today, these days. Just shut up. So yeah, got a family restroom here. Go down here. Still looks original from the 60s and 70s. <laughs> but anyway. My battery's running low, so I better get, try to hurry up to finish the tour, yeah? So why not finish it right at the staircase? Oh yeah, by the way, little computer room, the suspended lighting, really cool. Watch this. You can dim these fluorescents. Ain't that dope? Nice. So yeah. Take a look at what remains of the old John A. Beck Library era. Yeah. So yeah, this originally this was original to the building. Used to be up where the atrium's at now. This whole grand staircase and lounge area wasn't here originally. So uh, why not finish it right here? So yeah, there was a little tour of the Heath and Learning Commons at BC3. And also an Otis Hydrofit. Take care.